Hello everybody, this is Ben Hillis, the Master Instructor of Lado Key Karate. I'm back with you with another tutorial video, and today's video is this. We're going to do yellow belt techniques. So everything that you're going to see is all the techniques that you're going to need for your yellow belt test. So if you're testing for the future, you have a test coming up. If you're a parent and you have no idea what your kid's supposed to be doing for their test, this is the video to watch so you guys know exactly what to do. So stay tuned, we're going to do every technique that you need to do so you'll be able to pass that test really well. All right, so let's begin with all the techniques that we have to do for yellow belt. So these are the first ones you're going to do is everything that's going to be with your hands. All right. The first technique is going to be a back hand strike. What you're going to do is, is this. Take your hands, make two fists. You're going to take your knuckles, your index fingers, put them together on your right side of your body. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand. You're going to strike it all the way out. Hit with the back of your hand, which is why it's called the back hand strike. And you're going to bring it right back to where it started. Try it again. Bring it out. Now this time, bring your left hand back in the chamber and put it back on that side. And then you're going to go over to the other side this time. So you're now on your left hand side. Take your left hand, backhand strike with your other hand goes back the chamber, pull it back and go back to the other side, back to the right. Strike out, backhand strike, bring it to the left, strike it out, backhand. Let's do two more, backhand strike, right side and backhand with the left side. Good. And it's back to chamber. Next technique also starts out with the word back. It's called a back fist strike. Now, when you do this, it's a little complicated, but you'll get the hang of it, okay? This is gonna be going to the nose. You're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna set it like you do an outside block. You're gonna take it and you're gonna punch straight down the middle. It's going to twist when it can't go any further and it's gonna come back as well too, okay? I wanna show you that from the sides so you get an idea of how that looks as well too. So I'm here, I set like an outside block. I punch when it can't go any further, I twist and it comes in. Don't look robotic when you're doing this. This should just be one smooth motion when you do it. The idea is that the second that I make contact, that's when it comes back in and snaps back to me, okay? Try this with me, guys. Good horse dance. Take your right hand, set it up like you do an outside block, talk on the phone upside down, take your right hand, punch it out, twist, and come back. Back fist strike with the left hand. Set it up, punch, twist, and back. Right side again, set, punch, twist, bring it back. Left side one more time, set, twist, and back. Hands back the chamber. Now, that's back fist strike. Let's do a reverse back fist strike. You're gonna set like you do a down block this time, and it's gonna go straight down in front of you this way. I like this one because it's gonna go right to the bridge of the nose, right from here, at a downward angle this direction here, okay? There's a nerve that you're gonna be hitting there as well too. Hand back the chamber, take your right hand, set it up, strike it down. Make sure that you have that wrist cocked when you do this as well too. Left side, set, strike. Reverse back fist strike, set, strike, excuse me. Set, strike. Other side, set, strike. One more time, please. Set, strike. That was a reverse back fist strike. Hands back to chamber. Now, next one you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do vertical punch and horizontal punch. These punches look deceivingly simple, but they're actually a little complicated, okay? What you have to know first is this. This is vertical, this is horizontal. Vertical is up and down, horizontal is side to side, okay? So let's do vertical punch first. Your hands are gonna start in chamber. What's gonna happen is you're gonna punch in a little bit in front of your body. This is gonna go in the center and it's gonna turn and it's gonna turn vertical this way. But also watch me from the side when I do this. When it comes in, when it comes out, excuse me, like I said, it turns, but it kind of comes in, up in a little bit of an angle that way. So it's here, turn. The second I make contact, that's when the vertical twist happens as well too. So I'm here, boom, it twists in, twists in this way. Elbow does not go past your ribs. It doesn't have to. This is a close quarter punch. The guy's not super far away from me. He's really in tight with me, okay? So try it with me. From here, hands in chamber, good horse dance as always. Make sure those legs are bent, everybody. Take your right hand. Put it in front, turn it vertical, and punch it up here. Try it again. Left side, bring it down the middle, turn it vertical. Right side, in front, turn it vertical. Left side again, up, right side, up, left side, up. Now, that is your vertical punch. Your horizontal punch is going to start horizontal. It's going to turn vertical as it's punching, then it's going to turn horizontal again. Okay, so it turns vertical. Then it turns horizontal. Try it with me. Hands in chamber, good horse stance. Turn them both vertical. Right hand comes in the middle. Makes contact, it twists. 
That's where the power move is right there. Turn them, going down the center with the, with the left, punch it down, good. Turn it, horizontal punch. Do it again, right side, left side, up. Back to the chamber. Okay, you also need to do uppercut punch and you need to do roundhouse punch as well too, okay? Uppercut punch is gonna come down and come straight up. The idea from the side is that I'm going, the guy is once again, he's close to me. I'm coming down, boom. And I'm gonna coming this close to the guy, okay? Keep this about a fist away from your face as well too. Don't get it too close, but don't get it all the way out here. A lot of people are tempted to do their uppercut punch all the way up here. You're not going that far. Your hands are going to be in chamber and it's going to go straight up over here. Now I want you to see something too. What I did with my stance as well too. I'm not just sitting here in a horse stance going like this. Notice what I do with my hips. You can't see my feet, but my feet are going to turn to the direction that I'm kicking and my hips are going to go into that punch as well too. So when I'm here, boom, I punch up straight just like that. Okay, try this with me everybody. Oh, by the way, that's called the wide hourglass dance when you're doing that. Hands in chamber. Take your feet, turn to the side, and get that right hand straight up down the middle. Dig under, uppercut punch, left side. Turn your feet, uppercut punch. Back to horse stance, right side. Up. Good. Back to horse stance, right, left side. Up. Right side. Up. Left side. Up. Good. Notice this doesn't really go past my eyes either. Another detail. But details matter, and that's important too. Okay, roundhouse punch. Side of the head. It's going around, and it's coming in here. My elbow is going to be higher than my fist, and my fist is going to be about a fist away from my face as well too. Okay, hands to chamber, good horse stance. Take your right hand, swing it out. Left side, swing it out as well too. Same thing, turn your hips into that punch. That's where your power comes from, people. Other side, roundhouse. Punch, up, up, up. Two more, please. Up, up, good. Hands back to chamber. All right, the next technique you're gonna do is called an extended knuckles punch. Now, take your hand, I'm gonna get closer so you can see this. Take your hand, make a fist, okay? What you're gonna do from here is you're gonna take all your knuckles and raise them up like this. Thumb's gonna be down here as well too. Every time you punch, by the way, your thumb's always here, never here, never here. It's always down here. Same thing extended, doesn't matter, okay? This punch is going right to the throat, all right? This is a serious, deadly punch that you're gonna do. It's like this because it can get between that gap between your clavicle and your chin very easily, all right? You could try and get a punch in here, but you might hit that before you get there. So extended knuckles punch goes right to that, right to that spot in there, okay? Try with me. Horse stance, everybody. Hands in chamber. Extended knuckles punch. Take your right hand, punch it straight all the way out right to the throat. Left side, punch it out. Other side, up, up, up. Extend knuckles punch one more time. Up, good. Now, the next thing that you're gonna do is your back thrust kick, all right? Two kicks you gotta do, roundhouse kick and back thrust kick, right? Back thrust kick, the guy's behind you. It's going to the back, it's a thrust, it's a kick. Once again, things are very simple here in the Waddle Key Karate system. Watch what I do. Once again, my foot's gonna come up here because this is my chamber position. I'm gonna show you this from the side. This is my chamber position right here. First thing I have to do is look, then kick, then bring it back, and then go back to a horse stance, okay? Once again, just like side thrust kick, kicking with the heel, heel of my foot, okay? The motion for this kick is very similar to a side thrust kick, except the guy's behind you. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you a sideways version again. Foot comes up, hands are up as always. Kick, bring it back, and go down. Always look before you kick. Always look before you kick. Never take your eyes off your opponent, everybody. All right, so facing me, take your right hand, right foot, I mean, hands up. Right foot, raise it up. Hold it there for a second. Now watch me and do this with me. Kick and hold it. Hold, good. Bring it back to the front and put it down nicely in a horse stance. Don't try and do this too quickly the first time you do it. Take your time. Let's do that right leg again, everybody. Take your right leg, raise it up, hands up. This is your chamber position for every kick you do. Now look over that shoulder, kick back to the front and back down to a horse stance. Let's do the left leg this time. Hands up, 
left leg up, look, kick, back, and down. Nice and gracefully. Try that again. Left leg again, please. Hands up, get your foot, raise it up, look, kick, back, and down. Let's do the right side, back thrust kick on the hops. Up, raise it up, look, kick, back down to a horse dance. Left side, up, kick, back, and down. Okay, roundhouse kick. Now, when you do a roundhouse kick, you could do roundhouse kicks to the front, you could do roundhouse kicks to the side. For this video's purpose, I'm gonna do them to the side so you guys can see this, okay? So, when you do the kick, there's two ways of doing it. You could do it with the top of your foot, or you could do it with the ball of your foot. Today's purpose, we're, today we're gonna be doing the top of our foot. Hands are up, watch me this first time. You're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna bring it up here, but you're gonna bring it to the side this time. Notice that my heel is up really high on the side of my foot, okay? That's important. So when I kick out, it's like I'm doing a kick, except it's going sideways, okay? It's like if I did a front snap kick, it would go this way. This time, it's going sideways that direction. Let me show you from the front view, everybody. So you take your foot, you're gonna raise it up here, you're gonna kick out to the side, it's gonna come back, and it's gonna go back down to a horse stance, okay? So, what you need to know is, is this. When I do the kick, when I'm setting up here, like I said, we're gonna do this from the side. Normally, we do them to the front. Today, we're gonna do them to the side so you can see it. You're gonna take your right foot, raise it up so you're like flat as a board. It's like I'm leaning up against a wall, okay? I'm nice and flat, okay? Take your right foot, you're gonna kick it out, you're gonna bring it back to where it was, and then go back down to a horse stance. Now, when you do the kick, start low, then go higher. I do not expect you to kick to the head today. Kick to the kneecap, kick to the stomach, whatever you feel, kick to the groin, whatever's comfortable for you, then work your way up there. All right, let's try it, everybody. Good horse stance, bend those knees, hands up for balance, take your right foot, raise it up, heel up nice and high, flat as a board. This is one. Two, kick it out. Leave it out there. Three, bring it back. Four, you're gonna go down to the floor. Take your left foot, raise that one up. Kick it out, top of your foot, bring it back, and bring it back down to the floor as well too. If you're doing it right, you're gonna be feeling it in muscles you haven't felt before, okay? Hands up again, right foot roundhouse kick. Raise it up, kick it out, bring it back, and bring it down nicely. Good, left leg, raise it up, kick it out, bring it back, and put it down nicely two more times. Right side, bring it up, kick it out, back and down. Left side, raise that one up, kick it out, back and down. All right, and guess what? That's all the techniques that you have to do for your yellow belt test, right? There's escapes as well too, but that's the gist of what you need to know. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.